Arpeggios. <clears throat> the holy grail of guitar licks for many aspiring shredders. I'm Chris Shannon from California Guitar Academy, and I'm going to teach you how to play an E minor arpeggio and a G major arpeggio. All right, so let's, let's start with this. We're going to start with finger one on fret seven on string five, and we're going to hammer on to finger four on fret ten on string five. And then finger three, we're going to go on fret nine, and we're going to play fret nine on strings four and three. And you kind of see that I'm kind of rolling my finger there, because we don't want to have them both down, because you'll kind of get that chordy kind of sound. Then we're going to bring finger two to fret eight on string two, to finger one, string one, fret seven. And then we're coming with finger four to fret 12 on string one. And now for the picking hand, <clears throat> we have to watch this because uh, this first stroke is t technically a rest stroke, meaning as soon as I hammer on, I'm dropping my pick down to string four. And from here on out, we're just going to do a, a sweet pick, sweet picking motion. Oops. And then we're hitting fret 12 on an upstroke. And when we hit this on an upstroke, we're pretty much doing the same thing. We're doing another rest stroke, but we're resting on string two. And uh, now for the G major, and that's your E minor arpeggio frets. You know, uh, 7, 10, 9, 9, 8, 7, 12. So now for our G major arpeggio, we're going to play, fret, we're going to start finger 1 on fret 10 on string 5. And we're going to hammer on to fret 14 on string 5. Same thing, we're using a rest stroke here. The picking is the exact same pattern for both of these. The fingering is slightly different, but the picking pattern is exactly the same. So we're going to go 10, 14, then we're going to play 12, 12, 12 on strings four, three, two. Now again, you gotta kind of roll your finger there. Cause you don't want, you don't want the strings all ringing out. Finger one to fret 10, string one, to pinky fret 15, string one. And you follow down the same exact way, you know, but in an opposite sweeping motion. That's an E minor arpeggio and a G major arpeggio. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click like, leave a request in the comments section, uh, check out our Facebook, and there is a link to our website down in the whatever section that is underneath here. I'm Chris Shannon from California Guitar Academy.